What's up everyone? Today I want to share with you how I use Trello to manage projects where I hire remote freelancers and how we work together on the project. This by the way is my new office. I kind of rented this temporarily for the summer because my kids are at home so I can't use my home office. Hope you like it. Kind of need to make this nicer. I will in the next few days but let's jump right into it and I'll show you how I'm working. So Basically, if you don't know Trello, Trello is basically based on the Kanban kind of methodology where you create cards and you move them around in kind of lists. So the basic lists that I create are to-dos, which is kind of a long list of all the tasks that I have to do. And the tasks are prioritized based on what needs to be done, where the top one is the one that's probably the next that we're going to be working on, but you can always rearrange them. Now, once we choose to get started on something, uh, we move this to the in progress. Um, I do this and then the person who has to work on it knows to start working on it. And usually we don't put more than one or two things in the in progress because basically, you know, they have to know what they're working on. So um, here's the way I build the card. So we have the task name here and inside I create a to-do list. So you can create checklists over here and I give each one um, the artboard name. So usually we're working on a sketch file or an Envision file where you know you're working on a design project with multiple pages. So this would be probably the page name and here are kind of the things that we need to create in each page or to fix in each page. So you kind of have a, a long to-do list of things and it's organized by the page so it will be easier to understand. Usually I also put a due date so I would say this needs to be ready by next Monday so they know when I'm uh, hoping to get this. And then what I will uh, do is I will kind of do this, I will tag them by writing their name and by tagging them that means they'll get an email when, um, when I'm doing this so they know that something is new happening and they have to uh, take care of this. And this is, I will probably write here, hey check this list of things that needs to be done on this project, make sure that the due date is okay, let me know if something is not clear. Let me know if you think you can make it by this deadline. And usually what happens is uh, they'll get they'll give me an okay just to make sure that they, because I, I want to know that they saw it and that they're on it. And then they'll start working on it. And once they're done something, they're going to check it as, uh, you know, done. And the good thing is that even if they didn't finish, I can always open this up and see where they're at at the progress. And once they do that, they'll usually move this to review. They'll tag me and say, hey, Ran, I'm done with this task, please check it. And I will check it and if I see something that is not done properly, I might you know, un undo the checklist and I'll comment again. So usually there'll be a long list of comments, back and forth comments within this um, kind of card. And when it's finished, it's being moved into the done. And I usually keep the done list um, here at least for a while. And then at the end of the week, I would kind of archive it. So at the end of the week, I can see what we've actually accomplished each week. So it's kind of helpful for me to the end of the week to know how much work we got done this week. So this is basically the pro the process that um, I'm working on. It's been proving really, really efficient uh, because we almost don't even have to talk, you know, on Skype or, or do any live calls. The communication is really because we're tagging each other. We know when somebody has to take a look we can it's always very very visible where the project at what needs to be done um, where it's standing and it's been proving really really simple for me i've been working with multiple clients and multiple freelancers so everybody knows trello it's so simple by the way there's it you know trello is much more powerful than what i just showed you there's like gazillion other features but i don't use them i've actually never had to kind of upgrade to the like premium account because this works really well for me and for everybody I know and I think it's a super popular and efficient way to work um, at least on tech project and design project development project this process is super super efficient all right hope this was helpful for you guys I'll catch you next week